human after all I'm only human after all Don't put your blame on me Don't put your blame on me Hello everyone, it is mid-February and I've slowly um, kind of relaxed and got over the big bike ride. And I got the cheesy foot. <laughs> and this is my nephew who apparently has a cheesy foot. He's got no socks on. So why is he here and why am I here? So we are in Watford, and um, which is very local to um to where my nephew lives and it's the weekend and so i have got i'm looking after him today but we wanted to pop down and see how hedge is going because we've got hedge screening today and tomorrow um and so i just popped down to say hello so let's go and check out how it's going so how's it going everyone hello hello how it's very sunny isn't it <laughs> apparently there was a ghost in the hedge screening who knows <laughs> Have we had a successful um, head screening? So far, it's been really, really good. Fantastic. Well, I say so far, it will be really, really good. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. And we're doing all day today and yeah, we day have tomorrow. all day tomorrow. And then again next Saturday again. Indeed. Busy, busy. It is just gone eight on a Sunday morning. <laughs> I have serious bed hair. Um, and unfortunately, I have to now come and work for a few hours because working day to day you're gonna jump in and see hedge um how that's going but we've then got the issues with my tissue screening this evening and then from tomorrow we're gonna be in the retreat and so it's very hard to keep up with your inbox when that's happening because we have a full-on schedule morning till night so i want to get ahead of my inbox today the only way to do that is to work I'm trying to get up as early as possible so that I can still try and have a lunch with my wife today, be present, try and do both things. So uh, that's how I'm spending my Sunday morning. So I am in Watford at the Pump House Theatre. We are setting up, I'm going to go out here so it's a little quieter. I'm setting up for issues with my tissue screening. A man just popped up and um, we're expecting about 60 people. Well, that's how many people have registered. Who knows how many will show up? Uh, we had another successful hedge screening today. Um, so we enrolled, I believe, um, around 50 people to the hedge study over the last two days. So um, yeah, that's fun. Looking forward to seeing everyone that comes down tonight. <laughs> solid days at the retreat um, which has been amazing and it's so important for us because we're a virtual team and so we have now 20 people that work from all over the world um, and you miss that team bonding those chats by the water cooler you know being able to just walk down the, the corridor and so we really try and make the most of our retreats to you know work damn hard but also to 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 bring the team together and um so tomorrow we're working till about half past four we're starting early um so we're gonna have a an early 8 a.m start instead and and then we're gonna go through um and then leave and we try and do some kind of fun activity each retreat um and we try and not make it too pricey because anything that's you know social activity the 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 staff team pay for themselves of course so but we did know for a while that as soon as we said we're going to be doing a retreat in london now once a year the first thing that came um in, in mind was the harry potter studios now i'm very lucky i happen to live down the road from them it's not the cheapest thing to go to but everyone really wanted to go so um that's what they wanted to do so everyone was uh, responsible for their own ticket and tomorrow we're going to spend the evening there and then thursday 
we are going to have an off day and we are going to spend the day up in London. Um, and it's really cool. We've managed to pretty much find loads of things to do, walk around and see that are free. And then for people that want to, they can pay for their ticket to go to the Tower of London. And can you believe I live in London and I've never been to the Tower of London? So I'm actually going to geek out and be a massive tourist too and really enjoy that. Um, and then we've got another full day of work Friday and then we have to go really quick to King's Cross to get the train to Ghent where we've got some hedge work there so it's pretty full on um, but it's so special bringing the team together and it incentivizes us to keep going and to to keep jumping through those virtual hurdles and they're a real thing you know there it's hard to work with a virtual team from different time zones from different cultures um, but it also brings a real a, amazing dynamic team that has strengths that you wouldn't necessarily find if you were just, you know, limited to a geographical area. So I'm very grateful for how we're formed, but we are aware that there's challenges and we're trying to overcome them all the, all the time. And as, as our staff team grow, the, the more hurdles there are. Um, and we just keep going and, and doing what we can to beat those hurdles. And it's, you know, it limits our carbon footprint, not having brick offices, it means so much more money can go into a mission instead of an office um and there's so much that that is the right decision for that it's just you have to make sure that the team works in that setting and, and right now it does and we want to do everything we can to uh ensure that that continues so i'm gonna go to bed early start in the morning but harry potter we have had a full um three or four days of work and we thought to to ta take the team out for a fantastic uh team meeting we asked them where they want to go and this is where we are the harry potter studio tour which happens to be just down the road from where i live so you have to see that they're all kids they're like running they're very excited it's very sweet we're excited <laughs> Do, 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 do. Are we excited? <laughs> Very worrying. <laughs> oh my god. They've, I mean, look, they have gone all out. They have t shirts. I mean, this is. Waiting for the start of the tour. Oh, it's very Yay. exciting. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the great hall. Now I know you've only been in the great hall for a few short moments. I'm sure you can help me. Come to Harry Potter without having some butter beer. having a day out in London and it like never snows in London and typically it's snowing but that won't stop us here we go we are going we're checking out Camden House of Parliament Buckingham Palace Trafalgar Square Tower of London 
we are doing this because Team Zebra is really together in London um, and the Sky Garden. And it's actually amazing um, how much you can do for free in London. So like every, everyone has an optional activity which they pay themselves to do the Tower of London. Other than that, everything's free. So, you know, people think of London as really expensive, but even the Sky Garden, completely free. It's killer views across the whole of London. Anyway, hopefully the snow will clear before then. We made it through the snow. <laughs> made, it, made it to Euston, where we're covered. So we do have to head out, and I think it's turned to slushy rain. Zebra's on the underground! <laughs> Trafalgar Square, Mr. Nelson. How we doing? So good. The sun is coming out. The sun is coming out. We can see our feet again. Carissa's now using Shane's chair. And we made it to St. James Park. Walking on through, heading to Buckingham Palace. So it's the last day of our staff retreat and we had planned in today um, a session all day on our strategy and our one year, five year, ten year plan. And because life is um, full of surprises and you can't ever plan fully, uh, today is one example. So in the last 48 hours there's been a real increase in the threat of coronavirus to Europe. Um, there's been um, a huge um, uptake of people being diagnosed in Italy and overnight, um, although very small numbers still, the cases doubled in France and there were two deaths. We are aware that we have our European Learning Conference in Paris in three weeks and the utmost importance to us is our community, the health and welfare of our community and we know that most of the people attending will fall under that vulnerable category. So, um, our incredible team, we've cleared decks. We are now having an emergency briefing day on how we mitigate these issues, uh, what we do about it, if we postpone, um, if we need to cancel, um, what those risks are, um, what those costs are, and what the impact it will be to our community. So that is what we are doing now. So the staff retreat is over. And we now have a small hedge team going over. 
all of our dry ice and everything, and we are doing Hedge in Ghent. <laughs> Brussels. Now we need to get to Ghent. <laughs> so it's 6am. Waking up in Ghent, totally exhausted. It's been such an incredibly jam-packed week at the retreat. And we got in here, probably just gone 10 last night. So we have a full day of screening and then we get home about 11 o'clock tonight, back to London. And I just washed my hair and realized I forgot any hair wax. So I have extremely fluffy hair all day. So we are in Ghent in Belgium. We're here for our head screening. Are and we, it, on film? we are on film. Hello, Hello Dr. Hakim. Um, and it just so happens that today is also Rare Disease Day. So, um, Alan, how's it been going today? It's been going extremely well, yeah. Um, we've seen lots of people from around um, Belgium and the Netherlands. Netherlands and from the United Kingdom. So, oh, really? um, yeah, yeah, it's going very well. Fantastic. Very and Francisco, you're in and out today because you have some rare disease day celebrations. So what's going on today? Yeah, so um, in the afternoon, I have to go to Brussels to uh, a ceremony because I've been nominated uh, for uh, to have the Edelweiss Award, it's called, uh, for um, uh, Rare Disease Day. And uh, I also was on the radio this morning uh -huh. for an interview on what it is, uh, rare disease, and uh, why we have to have a rare disease day every year, and why it's today. And uh, so, yeah, it's been a good day. <laughs> Fantastic. And it feels very apt that we're here doing this pioneering study um, today. So let's hope it leads to lots of ad um, advancements and answers um, and thank you both again for spending a weekend um, out of your time to do this so from Ghent bye bye So, it's now the end of February and the bike ride feels like a million years ago. I hope you enjoyed the one-off special. It was almost feature length. I think it was actually feature length, but there was just so much to get in. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, obviously, the, this, this vlog's a little shorter. It was a busy month. We had our staff retreat. We had um, some hedge screenings and all the meetings and work. That go on in between um so thank you again um for staying watching subscribing if you haven't already there's the link um march is a busy one it's my 40th birthday and other exciting announcements uh, are coming so uh make sure you uh subscribe so you know when next month is up and enjoy i hope you enjoyed this month <laughs> <laughs>